Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we will see that how can you extract any water body or lake from any raster data set or from landsat aid imagery just like this so performing this analysis uh, let's add your data set or bands of your imagery first of all go to your file destination and select your bands from 1 to 7 and we will make a, com a composite and stack of these 7 bands so why we are taking only these 7 bands because their spatial resolution uh, is same that is 30 meter and we are not taking the 8th band that is panchromatic band that have this uh, spatial resolution of 15 meter and similarly for 11th and 10th band their spatial resolution is 100 meter thermal bands there so let's add this band and hit add okay in our previous lecture we have studied all these bands individually so if you want to know about the information of all these bands then you can click on top right corner okay now we will make a composite and stack of all these bands so go to your search bar and write here composite and this tool now select all your tool uh, bands and drag and drop over here in this window okay from here you can select an output for your destination in this case i will go with the same folder and i will make a new folder like analysis and give the name to your file composite extension will be in tiff because the resultant output will be a raster data set of all these bands stack of all these bands save and hit ok after uh, that tool you will get a raster composite just like this and this composite having all the seven bands like over here so now let's remove all other bands and let's see this whole image in a natural color that combination is 4 3 and 2 so this combination is a natural color combination in which we are seeing the fourth band in red color and the green band in uh, third band in green color and so on so if you want to see or uh, hold this image in a false color so that one is 5 4 and 3 so this is best for the study of vegetation the dark reddish area is actually healthy dense vegetation and another band combination that one is 5 6 and 4 this one is best for uh, the uh, for differentiating between land and water bodies so in this tutorial we want to extract this lake from over here so we will just create a shape file a area of interest around this lake and after that we will perform analysis and extract this lake lake out from this whole image now we will create a area of interest our uh, boundary of lake like okay we will create our lake boundary so first of all let's see what is the uh, pr uh, coordinate system of our band composite so it's utm zone 50 north and let's see the what is the uh, coordinate system of our frame that one is also utm 50 north so let's create a shape file from here you can select your uh, coordinate system and hit ok now let's go to editing feature create a new feature and draw a polygon ok so i am doing this in a, a rough manner because this is only for a tutorial purpose once you're done save edits and stop your editor tool now we will clip only this area from whole raster dataset 
for this we will again go to search panel and write here clip so, clip raster data set input will be your raster data set and output will be your vector data area of interest use input feature for clipping this geometry and from here you can assign a, a output to your raster data set and hit ok ok once this tool will done you will get an other raster data set just like this so let's see this in a natural color for 3 and 2 so this is a natural color greenish body is actually where vegetation and so on so let's see this in land and water combination that one is 5 6 and 4 it's like this now we will extract this water body from this raster data set so for performing this analysis we will use a tool that is known as image classification and make sure that you have selected the correct raster data over here so in this case we will work on composite clip so select composite clip and then go to classification and use this tool iso cluster unsupervised classification so this is a machine learning algorithm iso cluster unsupervised classification after running this tool uh, we will give him a number of classes if i will give him a number of class like five then this tool will run on all this raster data set and divide all pixels and all cell of this raster data set into five cluster or into five classes with respect to the similarity of their spectral reflectance so input will be our composite clip and let's suppose i will say over here um six classes and then uh you can also give him a destination for its output that one is classes extension will be in diff and save and hit ok ok after running this tool you will get a uh, output just like this now so this so this one is our uh, iso cluster and supervised output and this one is our clipped composite so we will perform interpretation on this raster data set just go to window image analysis and select your classes tip and use this tool now if you will drag this tool then you can see that the image composite clip that is right below our classes uh, layer can be easily interpreted so so I am observing over here that the grayish color, dark gray color and yellow color is actually representing water body and the other classes we are not in, interested in other classes so here the yellow and dark gray color is actually representing water bodies dark bluish color is actually uh, deep water and this one is shallow water okay now we will use a reclassify tool the reclassify tool in rgs is used to assign new values to a raster data set based on reclassification scheme uh, that you define to that tool so uh, let's go to uh, your search panel and write reclassify and use this tool spatial analysis input will be your classes data set and from here you will define new classes to your raster data set so in i know that the first class and the second class is actually representing the water body so let's see over here that the yellow and dark gray color is actually representing the water body so now we will assign uh, one uh, class value to our water body and for rest of classes they will be two just like this and now you can also assign an output uh, destination a class dot tick 
सेव एंड हिट ओके नाउ यू कैन सी हेड दैट द वाटर बॉडी इज सेपरेटेड इन वन क्लास एंड अदर लैंड ओके फॉर द एक्सट्रेक्शन ऑफ दिस लेक फ्रॉम दिस लास्ट डेटा सेट एंड वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया ऑफ दिस लेक सो वी विल यूज अ टूल दैट इज नोन एज रास्टल टू ओलीगोल सिलेक्ट दिस टूल एंड इनपुट विल बी योर री क्लास टिफ and from here you can assign a destination to your output so in this case this one is a uh, raster to polygon dot shp so we are converting the raster data set into a vector data set so extension will be now in shp and save and hit okay okay now we have just converted our reclass data into uh, polygon and let's go to its attribute table and over here you can see all the cells are uh, has been converted into a vector data set so grid code 1 2 is actually representing the second class that is for bare land or other features and the grid code 1 is actually representing the first class that is a what that is for water so now uh, we will merge all the classes that are corresponding to grid code 1 into one polygon and similarly for uh, poly uh, grid code 2. So now we will use a tool that is known as dissolve tool. Input will be your uh, vector data set and from here you can assign uh, a destination new dissolve. Load SSP and from here you will select grid code because we want to dissolve and merge all the grid codes of one into one polygon and similarly for grid code two and hit okay. Okay, this one is our uh, output and now go to its attribute table and the first polygon is actually representing the water body and the second uh, polygon representing the land features so unselect this and now we will select the first grid code and right click on this and from here create a layer from selected feature just like this okay now uh, if you are working on a geography coordinate system then you have to convert this uh, shape file into a projected coordinate system for calculating the area so now we will give a color to this just like this and now if you see over here that i am already working on uh, UTM universe transfers located that one is projected coordinate system so now i can calculates its area its perimeter anything so let's go to its attribute table and uh, add a field over here that is area underscore squared kilometer and type will be double hit ok and now right click on this area square kilometer calculate geometry and from here area and from here square kilometer and hit ok so this area is uh, 401 uh, 0.5056 square kilometer okay if you want to minimize this uh, these decimals then you can go to its properties numeric and from here you can it was only one decimal and hit ok just like this so here this one is the temporary selected feature and if you want to uh, save this uh, selected feature then right click over here data export data and you can assign destination to your output area dot shp and hit ok so now you have just saved this selected water body
ओके सो यू कैन क्रिएट अमेजिंग मैप्स फॉर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग वाटर बॉडीज सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ ले आउट और मैप फॉर दिस एनालिसिस यू कैन गो ओवर हेयर एंड डिज़ाइन योर ऑन ले आउट सो लेट मी सी यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस टूल डेट आई हैव रिसेंटली वर्क ऑन दिस लेक सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल एंड पावर ऑफ अनसुपरवाइज आइसो क्लस्टर टूल सो है यू कैन सी अ टेम्पोरल चेंज इन द लेक ऑफ पोयांग सो आई हैव जस्ट रिसेंटली क्रिएटेड दिस मैप ओके सो नाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो एक्सट्रैक्ट एनी वाटर बॉडी फ्रॉम एनी राष्ट्र डेटा सेट इट कैन बी लैंड सेट इट इट कैन बी सेंटिनल टू एंड जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द बैंड कॉम्बिनेशन एंड द स्पेक्ट्रल रिफ्लेक्टेंस ऑफ फीचर्स आई होप दैट दिस टूटोरियल वॉज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इफ यू फॉन्ट दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल दैन हिट द लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन सो यू विल नेवर मिस माई फ्यूचर वीडियोज सो मैनी थैंक्स टेक एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नाउ डेट हाउ डिड आई क्रिएट एलिवेशन मैप ऑफ माई कंट्री जस्ट लाइक दिस एंड यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट एलिवेशन मैप ऑफ योर कंट्री जस्ट लाइक दिस then you can click on top right corner many thanks take care allah